Okay, this is the rocket stove, triple burn, long burn, <coughs> big wood burn. The uh, problem with all the other rocket stoves I've used or seen up till now is that they all take little bits of wood, at the worst a bit of pallet. That was one of the first things I wanted to address, was all the rocket stove users burning pallets. I think one of the ideas of permaculture is that we could stop burning pallets, we could stop making pallets, or we could make pallets that, that last longer and stop transporting stuff around as much as well. So I think we, we can stop counting on pallets, we need to look, at, need to look further than the pallet. So this one, using big wood, these are nice big bits of beech. Pine's even better, obviously, because the higher resin content means more smoke. Uh, big firebox then, because the size of the firebox, in relation to the size and the number of pieces of wood, if you want to burn big wood, you can't just put one big bit of wood in a small rocket stove, it doesn't work. You need a big firebox, you can get at least five or six big bits of wood in there. That's 20 by 20 centimetres. With an elongated grill, and the grill's made of already perforated sheet steel, found at the scrapyard. Iron girder for the firebox that found at the scrapyard. The front two feet are made out of a, a part of a, a very small wagon wheel, wooden one. At the back there's a little foot <coughs> and these tubes. There's the first tube, which you can see inside the second tube. So there's your classic rocket stove with a second tube over the top. And that's what makes the difference with this one, is that once it's hot, hot air, cold air can come in here, in between the two skins. It gets heated by the heat of the steel and pulled up. The gap between the two skins is a centimetre and at the top I've capped it off with a, a cast iron ring that I found on an old wood burning cooker. And the central tube, the main tube, has got holes drilled in it at the top on the inside. So any hot air coming in here gets heated and injected through those holes as a constant stream of hot air into the top of the combustion chamber. Exactly the same as a wood gas stove that you can make out of two tin cans but with the advantage of being able to feed it from down below. It's the wood gas stove, you fill it up and you light it and it runs until it runs out. But when you need this to run for three hours, you need to be able to come and top it up. What's it been built for? It's been built for sterilizing food in glass jars with little rubber gaskets and put all the glass jars with the tomatoes or the cherries or the plums or, or the ratatouille or whatever you like. Soup, pate, pork. In the glass jars, in a big bucket with a lid and a thermometer. Put the bucket on the fire, bring it up to boiling point or below for some fruit. But Worst case scenario, we have to bring this up to boiling point. Sometimes we're talking 35, 40 litres of water, <coughs> or 40 litres of jars and water, all at 10, 10 degrees. Bring it up to 100 and maintain it at 100 for an hour. And lots of people do that here in France, in the countryside. Lots of people on their farms have a strip of field, they plough up, they grow veg on it and they do all their bottling on the gas because it's the middle of summer and they don't want to light the wood burning stove in the house because it gets too hot and if you do this with a conventional fire it takes loads of wood and it takes all day and so I've invented this one, developed this one to answer this question of all this sterilizing energy did a trial last week 25 litres of water from 9 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, 1 hour and 41 minutes, with less wood that you can fit in that fruit crate. That fruit crate is 50 centimetres long, 
20 centimeters wide and this fire unlike other rocket stoves this will burn for 20 to 30 minutes on its own without you being here to put wood in it just push the wood up a bit that's all you have to do every 20 minutes come back push the wood in a bit if there's not enough in there put another bit in and away you go so there you go that's it finished two years head scratching and looking around scrapyards trying to find the right metals and building them and learning to weld at the same time there it is rocket stove triple combustion 20 to 30 minute burn time keep it going all day very little wood thank you